another one for his past <laughs> or so. Uh, thought I'd come back out to the van. Uh, I've had to put her up on these wooden blocks because she's starting to sink a little bit. Unfortunately, this is not the best field for this this kind of van, really. Uh, got a blooming flat tyre on that one. Uh, I knew it had a s s slow leak, but um, yeah, it's definitely more than a leak now. As soon as it's a nice sunny day, I thought I'd come out to the van. Not exactly done too much. Uh, I've replaced that terrible double din with a cheapy plumbing single din uh, ooh, radio. Uh, the plan is to have it, uh, have it, have a tablet mounted above the radio. Let's see if I can grab it now. Somewhat similar to that. Uh, definitely, definitely need a better mounting uh, solution, mate. Right? But uh, that's that's the eventual plan. It's going to be for music and navigation. So similar to how they had it in a in the NHS. You know, there was some kind of screen here. Uh, probably have to mount it a little bit lower. I think it just it just sticks a little bit too high up. I can see it over the top of it, but I guarantee some bloody some copper will pull me over for having a computer in the uh, in the dash like that. So if it's if it's a little bit lower, it won't stick out as much. Hopefully, uh, I think I put I think I put Genesis on the last video, but yeah, I've got this working. Nine 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 mode activated. Uh, at the moment it obviously doesn't do anything because there's no uh, nothing really hooked up to it. Um, I'm in two minds about having it control the lights and the fans and stuff because I don't really want to tie myself into having to rely on the Genesis system because it's very power hungry. So ideally this would just be for the uh, external lights, sort of light bars and, and stuff like that. And then everything else will be going through my own fuse box to the various internal lights and such. It would be nice to use this a bit more, but it's it's just far too power hungry for that. So, so yeah, that's this is where I'm at after almost almost two years. I suppose I can't really count some of those months because we were in lockdowns and such and covid and all that but but yeah i've i've had this van pretty much two years now i had hoped to, to have it done within the first six to eight months but <laughs> that went kind of out of the window a bit currently working out the uh tail lift eventual plan to take the tail lift off of course I don't know if the camera will focus on this, but this is what I've got so far. It's probably not going to, is it? So just at the top of there, I don't even see it, is the... Uh, oh, what is it? The battery box outputs or wiring. Uh, looks like it goes over to the tail lift control boxing mob, just up there. And obviously the, the tail lift is there, you can see. So the plan is to... Uh, Get this box open. Tilt it under it a little bit. Get that box open there. And you can see all the wiring ju just there. See what's in. Take out as much as I can. Because obviously there's going to be bits that, well, I, I don't need because I'm not keeping the tail lift. Um, I did find the. Under. Again, apologies for this, I can't actually see the screen. Uh, but it is in that top corner there. Uh, I don't plan on using it but I'll keep the wires just just for reference you know just on the odd chance I do uh, oh, so this is the underside of the van a smidge rusty uh, but with my uh, untrained eye doesn't look too bad under here you can see the uh, dual rear wheels there 
Oh yes. On the side of the van, you got the good bins for the tail lift. There, the uh, oil oil pump thing, my bobber. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, so I got that box off, and uh, it appears to be three humongous fuses. So that one, that one says battery free. This one is battery two. And obviously that says tail lift. So we've got uh, mega fuses at the back of the van, and then once they finally make it right to the front, which is those those things there, they've also got mega fuses there as well. Just thought that was somewhat uh, interesting. They've like double fused up. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably leave these in because uh, if that if the ambulance manufacturers had it like that. I may as well keep it like that as well. Just to continue on from that last thing, this is a battery box. Just got some old uh, car batteries just temporarily in here just to test the charging setup and see how, see how many batteries we'll put in this drawer. And yes, I'm aware car batteries are not the, are not the battery that you should be using. But like I said, it's just temporary, just to get a bit of power in the rear of the van, test various systems and charging setups. Uh, once I get some proper leisure batteries, I'll just obviously go and responsibly recycle these. Have a local uh, tip. Uh, yeah.